My name is Erica Briscoe. I am a research scientist here at Georgia Tech Institute. And what do I do? I call myself a cognitive scientist. So I do work in the area we call sometimes behavioral modeling and computational social science, which is really a combination of computer science and psychology as well as various other disciplines where we try to understand and usually try to computationally model human behavior. So that means um, behavior in many different aspects, things like uh, what they're posting online or what they're, who they're talking to. It could be how they're getting influenced by their friends or peers. I got an undergrad at Georgia Tech as an industrial engineer. And I went back to school um, and got a master's in information systems. But my real interests were always in the cognitive sort of area or cognition. So I went back and got a PhD in cognitive psychology at Rutgers University. I've always been drawn towards mathematical representation and definitely, um, like I said, an interest in psychology, but more of the cognitive aspects of it. So not so much understanding uh, the psychiatric aspects of it, like drug interactions or anything like that, but rather how the brain works um, and how uh, you can represent how the brain works. Rewarding to be able to identify an idea or a topic that I'm really interested in um, and be able to experimentally investigate it. So I run a good bit of human subjects experimentation, um, as well as writing papers, of course, that, uh, on the research. What's stressful for us, particularly where we work, is um, finding funding to do the work we want to do. Normally, on a normal day, I um, spend a lot of time on computer and, and in meetings. Um, usually talking about an experiment or looking at results or writing a paper. So we have a lot of teamwork, um, which is nice. So it's not just sitting alone in a computer. So for research scientists, I think it is, is really variable. Around here, I think the salary is like 60 or 70, um, up until like 200. sort of teamwork like courses were always better for me, which happened to me where I went was calculus. And, uh, and probably English too. Writing is, um, being able to write well is incredibly important. Even if you work, if you write code all day and we're doing code, uh, coding of computational models, being able to write and communicate um, what those are about to people who might not um, understand the code is incredibly um, um, valuable. Yeah, I would say so. Um, like I said, well, well, with the rise of ubiquitous computing, everyone having smart cell phones and social networking or social media taking off, it has changed a good bit. I think in a good way. Um, but like I said, a, a lot more people are doing it. So most big companies have like data analytics or data science um, groups now. So, yeah. Yeah, it's become really hot. I personally believe there's a lot more of the basic science that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of people, like I said, doing this kind of work in terms of analyzing Twitter, everyone doing that, but um, but not a lot of, uh, to me, not a lot is understood about the underlying psychology of it. So um, I personally think there's a lot of work to be done. talk to a lot of people. I think that's one of the best things you can do. Um, not not just people uh, that you work with or your professors, which of course are good, but just people um, out there in the world because you end up learning a lot. 